Hi, I'm Sue Wilson, and I have a lovely Celtic card to share with you today. These are great designs. You can use them for either men or women. You can dress them up, dress them down, so many things you can do with them. So we're going to be doing a little pattern building. So I'll share with you what we're going to use. We have from the Celtic uh, collection, we have the Caitlin die. We're going to be doing a bit of embossing with the 8x8 embossing folder called Rope Chain and creating a, um, a frame for our dies with the double stitch squares. So I've got a piece of slate gray card and it is six and a quarter inches square. I'm going to bring in the rope chain, pop that in, and trade out my cutting mats. That a pass through. Ooh. And you can see you've got this lovely embossed pattern coming up with that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in some uh, Silver Dream Gilding Polish. And we're just going to add a little bit over the top just to kind of highlight that design. So taking a bit from the side, just going to put a little bit on our applicator. And I'm just going to lightly go over the top of that design, just picking up all the um, parts of that rope. That looks really nice. A little bit more. You don't need very much. You just want to just apply it so it hits the very top of that. So you want to make sure there's just the slightest amount on your applicator, otherwise it'll get too heavy. Yeah, a little bit. And get this last little section here. The edges probably won't show, but I want to do the whole thing just to show you. And go this way. So you can see you've got just a lovely metallic look coming off of that. And it's very, very subtle since we're doing kind of a tone on tone. The other thing, whenever you use your um, gilding polish or any basic uh, wet or um, water-based product, what you want to do is just give it a light spritz before you put it away, and that'll keep it from drying out. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side. And then with the uh, gilding polish, what you want to do is just taste, take a piece of kitchen roll and just sort of buff over the top, and that dries it really nice and well and brings out that uh, shine, too. So it's really nice like that. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my frame now, and I've used those uh, double stitch squares. So this frame is uh, just over six and a quarter. It's about six and a third inches on the outer outer line. I've got some mounting foam on that on the back, so we're going to peel this off. Okay, and I'm going to work from the frame. So what I want to do is take my Caitlin dies. Now I've cut them out of Merlot card and back them with slate gray, and I've done. Uh, three of these, and I've cut them in half. So what I want to do is just line them up. In fact, it might be easiest to do it this way. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's take a little bit of tape and line them up like this. Get them nice and straight. Pop the tape down. There we go. Might make it just a tad bit easier to apply them. Oops, oops, oops. Single sided probably would have worked better, but there we go. So I'm going to pop those down. And I'm just going to line up the edge of the frame to catch these right about the same spot. Let's see, about like so. Okay. So I can pop that in. I'm going to do these three here the same way. I'll use separate pieces that might make it a little teeny bit easier to grab them. There we go. And like that. And that way they don't move around when you're trying to put the frame on. Okay. Pop them like that. Same thing. We're just going to line the frame up, catch them at about the same spot. Let me just eyeball where they need to be. That looks 
pretty good. I like that. Okay, pick up my frame, and I think I'll add just a bit of glue to the base here. There we go. And I'm going to put my backing on now. So I, the glue will stick, and the mounting foam should be just about the right um, amount you need to get it to stick onto this. Now it's a tiny bit bigger, so I am going to use a pair of scissors and trim this edge off a little bit. Just go up underneath that frame, and you won't see it. Be sure to cut your um, hold your scissors at an angle, and that way you're not going to cut it into your frame. A little bit here. Not bad. Like that. Pop that to the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the base, and then I'm going to put on the top of the multi layered part. So my base is a white paper pe pierced edge uh, mat with a slate gray and a Merlot card. So I'm bringing in all those same colors. I think those are lovely colors together. So now I've got the thinner frame that I've cut just out of the Merlot. I've got one little bit of um, mounting foam on the back here. So we'll go ahead and peel this off. And we are going to pop this on. And this one's going to fit um, just right in with the center uh, cut line on this white frame. And I'll just try and get that lined up as straight as I can. And lightly lay it down, and then when I'm happy, I can put a little pressure on that and make sure it's all attached. There we go. So I do like that. Got all the little, little bits here. Get rid of those. Now, for the center, I decided to go tone on tone to create a, a, a solid area for my sentiment. So I've just done the Caitlin in both the uh, backing and the decorative piece out of the Merlot card. And I've do, done two of the For Someone Special out of Silver Mirror card, just to kind of tone in with the um, gilding polish. I want to stack these just to make it a stronger uh, sentiment. A little bit of glue on one. Pop this right on the top of it. There we go. And that Silver Mirror card will really stand out against that Merlot, so I didn't even shadow it, but I just wanted to give it a little bit more dimension. And with all these little swirly bits, it's nice to have two of them put together. It just makes it more solid. And I'm going to hit the back of this with a tiny bit of glue. And bring in my Cosmic Shimmer Glue and add some bits to this, too. That will help stick it on, especially since the base we're putting it onto isn't actually flat. You've got that dimensional die on there as well. So you want to have a little bit more to hold on with. There we go. That should do the trick. Get a hold of that. Pop that in the middle. There we go. Give that a second to set up. Oh, lovely. I just think that's such a beautiful card. Those colors just really work well with the Celtic dyes, too, I think. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget our YouTube channel is there. We have so many there for you to watch. Like and subscribe.